Uh, hello, Goals fans, and welcome back to another player interview. Today, we have the pleasure of being joined by goaltender Kevin Boyle. Kevin, thanks a lot for taking your time to do this with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Okay, the, the first question I want to get started with is just the, uh, the difficulty of getting from one side of the country all the way to the other once we, we found out that the season was going to be put on a hold. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, it was definitely hectic, um, especially like it happened and we were waiting there in San Diego for a little bit, not really knowing what was going on. And then all of a sudden they were like, the things started ramping up and um, we found out we were allowed to go home and we should go home. And we looked at flights and flights weren't really that hard to find. We found them, but obviously going across the country, they're pretty long flights. Um, but at the big, the hardest thing for, for me was packing up the, like the whole house and packing up my car and getting that, trying to get that shipped out and doing all those little things. Um, that, so that was, that was kind of hectic. My, my wife had left already. So it, I was just me at the house. So I was just left alone to do all that. But that was, that was probably the most hectic thing, but actually getting across was, was kind of easy. It was just, it was interesting actually flying across and seeing there was no one on the flights. And then when I arrived back home, there was, not a soul in the airport and it was it kind of put things into perspective and made it feel a little real yeah I mean you have a lot going on personally and outside of the world of hockey I mean right now you're in the process of moving into a new house right yeah yeah we uh we just bought a house over right around Christmas time up in on the lake here in New Hampshire and um my wife came, she left early um, and moved in here. And then when I got back here, we started moving all the furniture and stuff in. So it's, it's kept us busy, but uh, it's been fun. And your wife is, is also pregnant too. So how's that going along with, uh, with your first one that you're going to be expecting soon? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a fun time. It's, it's definitely crazy. Um, but it's, it's a lot of fun. We actually just built um we ordered some stuff for our, our extra room like our guest room we turned it into a nursery and we just built the I built the crib today and we built the chair and there's a rug in there so it's it's coming along nice but she's doing well um holding up she's she's healthy she um she's doing good so uh we're, we're definitely excited but now are you normally a handyman or have you turned into a handyman <laughs> house and now you've had to build a crib and all that my family would definitely say that I'm not a handyman. Um, growing up, I, I, I never really had a knack for it, but I, I can, I mean, I, I'm good at following directions, so it's not too hard for me. It's more like we, we also painted the nursery yesterday and I'm not, I learned yesterday, I'm not a good painter at all. Um, but actually like building stuff and putting things together, I don't mind it at all. What was the hardest part about painting? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Probably just like getting the strokes in line so that it just didn't look weird. Uh, we were like, we were rolling it and then we were painting the trim. And at one point, Kendall just looked at me and was like, you can, you can get out. This looks terrible. And she was like, okay. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> it, it is, dude, I have to give you credit. Painting is actually very difficult. And if anybody that's watching hasn't painted a room before, you try it because right now you got the time to do it. It's, it's actually very tough to master and make it look good. It is hard. There's, there's a lot of little different things that go into it and you have to be very particular about getting stuff. Like I, I was trying to paint the trim and I got paint on, on the ceiling and the, the <laughs> ceiling was white and we were painting the walls white and it just looked like there was a, like a clump of, of uh, paint on the ceiling. I was like, this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll stick to hockey, huh? <laughs> yeah. <seriously. laughs> so, so with all this going on, I mean, let, let's take a, a good light of, of all the thing that's going on. I mean, you as a, a new father, you're moving into a new house, you're trying to get settled. It, it's got to be at least relieving to have this time to spend with your wife and, and get settled in where you are, right? It is definitely. Um, especially because if, if we were back in San Diego and still playing, she would have been home and I would have been out there by myself. So um, on one hand, like it, it stinks that the season is suspended and we're not playing hockey right now. And on the other hand, I get to spend some time and, and, uh, with, with my wife and help her out with anything that she needs. Cause she'd be doing this by herself too, um, right now. So it's, uh, you know, like I said, on one hand, it's good. On one hand, it's not good, but you take what you can get. 
Right, right. Have you been able to keep up with all the teammates? Like, what's the, the conversations been like with you and the guys and even the coaching staff? Yeah, we, I mean, with the guys, we all have a, a group chat and a group Snapchat, so we keep in touch um, in that way. And uh, a few members of the coaching staff have gotten in touch with me. I've talked to JF uh, a good amount. Dino reached out to me. Um, so uh, we've been keeping in touch, and, you know, we're just we're, – we're hoping that we can – at one point get back and, and finish it off. Cause we felt like we had something good going and it kind of got, uh, ended there abruptly. Yeah. How, how, uh, how does that feel? Had to kind of be separated from the season with you guys turning in such a right direction. Yeah, it's, it's definitely tough. Um, I think right now we're kind of used to it just cause we've been home for, for so much, mm-hmm. so long, but when it first happened, it was, it was definitely, uh, a sore thing because like you said we were trending definitely in the right direction we were playing really good hockey we have been for the past two three months there um and we felt like we really could have could have banded together and and had a special special run there so it's definitely tough um but you know there's there's some things that are just bigger than hockey and bigger than sports and you have to stay healthy and you got to be as as careful as possible right now so has there been any guys that you've been uh, contacting a lot lately? I mean, I know you got New Jersey natives with Chris Colo and Stolarz. Are those two guys that you continue uh, extensive conversations with, or is it just everybody in general? Yeah, I've been, I've been talking to Stoli pretty much every day. Um, we hang out, we play, we play video games together. We play golf games, whether it's Call of Duty or anything like that. So I've been talking to him a lot every day. I, I grew really close with him this year. So we've been keeping in touch and we play with some other guys too. Like Gaz was out there. He was playing, yesterday too i think that's like it's great that we have those like video games to keep in touch with all the guys it makes it that much easier to keep in touch with them and and kind of virtually hang out since we can't actually hang out right now so who is the best gamer on the gauls team and don't be bashful if it's you i want to (laughs) know i can't i mean i can't actually say that i mean i'm other people might say that because I am kind of good at video games, um, but and I play them a lot because they're they just get my mind off things. But um, everyone's pretty good. Brody's really good at we've we've been playing this uh, golf game. He's really good at that game. Um, Souls is good at Call of Duty and good at Fortnite. We play with Jack Kopaki. He's really good at Fortnite too. So um, everyone has their skill sets. We just we just enjoy each other's company on there and we have a lot of fun. What's your go-to video game? And what's your uh, what's your state? What do you have? PlayStation or Xbox? I have an Xbox um, for now, but I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna upgrade. <laughs> My wife's going <laughs> right at me right now. Uh, I think I'm gonna upgrade to uh, like a gaming laptop so I can bring it on the road and in my backpack. But I have an Xbox right now, and I don't know we've been playing the new Call of Duty came out with a cool little battle royale um, game mode that we've been playing a lot and. Uh, me, Souls, and Brody were in um, a club on this uh, a golf game. It's called PGA Tour Golf. I think it's called PGA Tour Golf Club 2019 or something like that. And we've we've been playing some some virtual rounds of golf together. <laughs> um, yeah, those those are probably the main two that we've been playing. And we play uh, NHL at night sometimes too. It's a lot of fun. Who's the best NHL player on the team? Um. Probably Jack. Jack's really good. Um, we've been playing. We sometimes we do three on three, like me, Brody, Stoli, and Jack. We play three on three, and then we have someone play goalie too. And me, mm-hmm. me Stoli don't want to play goalie because we do it in regular life. So Jack and and Brody get to play goalie there, and so it's a lot of fun. But Jack's probably the best one on our team, I would say. So this kind of segues into uh, an interesting question here. If you were to video chat with one player, who would be the longest conversation with? Would it be those guys or would it be somebody outside? And actually, kind of honestly, I'm trying to ask, who's the big talker on the team? Ooh. Yeah, Jack would he, would, he would talk my ear off probably pretty good. <laughs> um, Gaz would definitely have – Zooming with Gaz would probably turn into a two-hour session where we were just just kind of shooting about God knows what. And we'd start <laughs> on one end and you get to another end, but it would be a blast. Um, Chopper would also be a good one. He can definitely talk your ear off. Uh, probably, I'd probably go with those three. 
Okay, so I, I want to get some uh, some favorites from you. Like, uh, for example, favorite visiting city that you have played in in your career. What would it be? Are we talking AHL city or anything? Uh, let's go. Let's go all over. Because I mean, you did. You, you've you've been all over. You've been in the ECHL. You've been in the NHL. So, what do you got? What's your favorite pro city that you've been in? Oh man, that's tough. Let me think here. Yeah, Nashville was really cool. Yeah. Got to my rookie year, I got to Black Ace while they were in playoffs um, in the Western Conference Finals, and we went to Nashville. They they brought us to Nashville. So we got to see that and that atmosphere during the playoffs that year was incredible. Um, what, what about favorite AHL city, too, then? AHL, I'd probably go with Austin um, in Texas. That one's a really good time. There's a lot of different things to do around around that little city, and – they have a good rink too, um, so I'd probably go with that. What would be your favorite restaurant to go to in opposing city? Um, <laughs> uh, I'd probably say me and Dells go to Morton's a lot. Um, mm-hmm. We try and treat ourselves to steak every now and then. Um, that one's in, we usually go there in, in San Jose. Um, that's not cheap though. <laughs> Tell you that. <laughs> Other than that, I'm trying to think if we have like a – we were in Tucson, we would always go to Olive Garden. We would just – we'd call in Olive Garden and, and pick it up and get it to go and go back and watch something, order a movie and watch something we needed in bed. Um, have you been able to watch anything that you've, you've really liked uh, so far during quarantine? Any movie yeah. selections that Kevin Boyle picks? <laughs> I watched uh, this movie called Spencer Confidential on Netflix. That was a good one with Mark Wahlberg. Um, we watched a little bit of Tiger King. I haven't finished it yet, but that was, that one's pretty crazy. And then I'm trying to get Kendall to catch up to me in Ozark because I want I've watched the first two seasons of that and I'm trying to watch the third season. She just hasn't catched up to me yet. But other than that, um, we haven't really watched. We stick with our main shows. We watch The Office on repeat all the time and Parks and Rec, um, we like those funny shows. Well, so that'll, I, I got kind of a this or that to, to wrap things up. So uh, you, you basically just answered the first question, comedy or horror? What's that? A comedy or horror movie. Which one oh, would you go uh, with? Comedy, 100%. I, I've never mm-hmm. liked horror movies. I haven't really understood the whole thing of watching a movie just to scare yourself. So <laughs> I'd, <laughs> I'd much rather be laughing watching a movie. All right, I'll go rapid fire the rest of the way. Hamburgers or hot dogs? Ooh, that's tough. Probably hamburgers. Okay. Book or movie? Movie. Boat or plane? Boat, for sure. Superman or Batman? Batman. Milk or juice? Juice. Frozen yogurt or ice cream? Frozen yogurt. Fruits or veggies? veggies now this one's this next one might strike a chord with some people in san diego burgers or tacos tacos definitely all right ketchup or mustard ketchup and the last two are very quarantine appropriate sandals or sneakers sandals definitely and then living room or bedroom Ooh, that's a tough one i said probably living room I, I mean, now, since we got our new house, we've been hanging out in the living room a lot. But when we were in San Diego, we hung out in the bedroom a lot. So I kind of a toss up, but I'd say living room right now. Okay, that's all I got for the this or that. And we actually haven't talked to you to, to get a message to the fans. So I'll, uh, I'll leave you to finish off and say hello to the San Diego Gulls fans and Anaheim Ducks fans watching. Yeah. Hey, guys. Um, I hope all you guys are, are staying safe and healthy out there. I know it's a crazy time right now, but... Uh, we miss you guys, all of us, um, and we wish we could be playing out in, out in front of you guys. And like I said, stay, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, we'll all get through this together. All right, Kevin, thanks a lot for your time. This has been uh, a lot of fun here chatting with you. Of course. Thank you.